title match of the JBT Touring Players Championship in the Girls Scratch Division. No shock at all to see these two ladies play for the title. Adele Warner, who won 13 times this year, going up against Kelsey Abramson, who won a whole bunch of times and got Bowler of the Year in the Northwest by winning that Invitational. Uh, right now, it's pretty much all Adele. She leads by 33 pins through six frames. Kelsey has an open in the sixth, and Adele gives the open frame right back in her seventh. So a bit of a reprieve there for Abrahamson as she has a chance to crawl to within 12 if she can get a double here. Kelsey got by AJ Shock in an all Northwest first round of Step Ladder Finals, 168 to 164. Still finishing up in third place in a field of talented ladies. Look at that reaction on camera, my goodness. What a, what a thrilled young lady <laughs> as evidenced by that one. Bowled 14 games of qualifying on um, some very difficult patterns. Super tough on Friday. A little more room to play this morning, and then the toughest of all four of them, at least on paper here this afternoon. This is only their second game on it. They had to come in cold into this pattern the first game of the ladder. Obviously a key shot in this match here, eighth frame already. An open would be just about catastrophic. A mark would be so-so, a double would be smiley face time for Kelsey. Looks pretty good. Oh, just can't get that ball to wrinkle there. We'll trail by 22 with two frames to go. She can spare up. The two pin. Relatively simple, but no spare is simple when you're playing for a JVT major title. $400 in first place today for the ladies on a total entry fee of zero as far as the girls' TPC is concerned. Thanks to our terrific sponsors. Scratch and handicap in the middle of their eight game semifinal match play block. Got that ball to turn over. We we're waiting for it. It did. Covers the spare. Now Adele is a lovely young lady from a terrific family, but I think all the rest of the girls who are going to be sticking around next year are going, whew, right now because she just spanks the girls division this season. 13 wins. That's a record on the precipice of number 14 here. She will be a Commodore bowling for Vanderbilt out in Tennessee this coming fall. That ball's not going to wrinkle. Oh, man. You could tell her, kind of give it, oh, no, look, right there and right in the same spot. Kelsey left the two pin. Adele skips just a hair further and pays the maximum penalty with a 2 4 8 10. No loss of count, but an extremely difficult split, which is going to tighten things up a little more. That Mukau ball. Oh! oh! Wow. Two pins go off the left side wall and, and somehow miss the 10 pin. That was almost the break of the weekend for her. Instead, it's, it's a heart racing open frame, but an open frame nonetheless. And now we've got an 11 pin match. Two games to go. Recovery, real nice shot. I think she thought that would carry. Instead, cannot shake the seven out. What a field we have. If you're watching the girls' title match, make sure you watch the regular match later. Low Cardenas, Acuff, Duster, Shank, Tuholski, Devlin, Swagger, Leong, Nicholas, and Shank all in the finals. My goodness. Uh, 
to get that ball fully cross lane. A lot of oil in the middle. Nicely done at the spare. Moo. Well, somehow, some way, Kelsey finds herself right in this match. That nine out in the six frame looms awfully large right now. When you're on the tough patterns, you gotta make the so-called makeables. Had an ugly frame in the third, a 3-6. Everything else has looked pretty good. And that 3-6 was on a spare too, so that's six bits of count. Let's see if she can put it all together here in the ninth and tenth. Good. Lean on that pin, darn it. Real good shot. You can see how much oil there is. That ball is not bailing at all. She's going right over the second arrow and just trying to pipe it in the pocket. The ball still doesn't turn over and uh, face up through the pins to carry the 10. So it's a very weak 10 pin. With the spare, she'll trail by 12. Both ladies will be on spares heading into the 10th frame. Switches balls. The ball it doesn't hook at all. Careful preparation, hard and straight. All of our top girls are outstanding spare shooters, but just zero friction on the lane. She leaked a 10th she had, oh, but it's going to be disappointing to Kelsey because she had a fill ball 10 pin against AJ that didn't matter and she missed it in just about exactly the same way. She should have gotten a read off of that and perhaps covered the 10 this time not to be. And now she's backed herself into a corner where she has to double here to make Adele show up for the 10. Alright, there's one. Kelsey still about to begin her senior high school season. She will then stay in the college in the Northwest because I'm sick of losing girls to the Midwest. Sick of that. UW's got a light rail station. Why bother leaving? You get anywhere. She'll be one heavily recruited young lady though, I can guarantee you that. Has to have this one though. She's got a chance. Ah, that 10 pin, they're not even going to be frenemies. They're just going to be a flat out uh, opposites there as it's going to cost her this match and the title. Assuming Adele does not do something catastrophic and Adele has done little to nothing catastrophic this entire season. I bet you she makes this 10 pin. That's how bowling works. Oh no, well, instead over adjust and miss it to the left. She is done with shooting 10 pins on the weekend. Nice gesture out of her and uh, Adele has the liberty of a free ride breaking her own record. And add girls TP champ, TPC champ to the resume. What do they put in the water in Las Cruces, New Mexico? Like 50 people, I know. <laughs> like 50 people live there. And it's not just Adele, Vanessa Romero out of the same city in uh, southern New Mexico have made their mark on a tour that covers a good solid third of the country. Wow! Old Dick Weber shot on the 5-7. Kelsey's crew talking with Adele's mom. Adele's mom and dad take turns bringing her thousands of miles to these tournaments every week. But I pointed out on Thursday that it seems like Adele's mom is the one that always ends up in Vegas. And Adele's dad ends up in Cleveland and Des Moines and you know, stuff like that. Well, that is the perfect time for a 7-10 and what a exclamation point to what a season for the incredible Adele Warner. 
fantastic year for Kelsey as well. And all of our Lady TPC qualifiers. Three good buddies. We got Scratch and Handicap coming up a little later. Be sure to watch part two for that.